This is an extract from the Leader podcast by The Evening Standard. The whole thing is available on all major podcast providers. With the presidency apparently slipping from the incumbent's grasp, supporters of Donald Trump have been trying to stop ballot counting in knife-edge states like Michigan. And if that fails, others are calling upon God himself to intervene. For every enemy that is aligned against you, let there be that we would strike the ground for you will give us victory, God. I hear a sound of abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of... Donald Trump's spiritual advisor Paula White Kane begged for angels to stop the demonic confederacy stealing the election. None of it seems to be working. Joe Biden is inching ever closer to the White House. But what happens when he gets there? The Democrats may get the keys to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, but the Senate remains locked. Republicans are likely to retain control of the chamber, and that's going to be a problem for Joe Biden. Shorn of Senate majority, Biden's ambitious domestic agenda is dead on arrival. The big, systematic changes Democrats wanted to enact, such as making American democracy freer and fairer, will now be blocked. It also means the much-needed economic stimulus package will be far smaller. Republicans who, when in power, spend vast sums on tax cuts for the wealthy, will suddenly rediscover their lifelong commitment to fiscal rectitude, as they did under Obama. Without the trifecta of the presidency, Senate and House of Representatives, and with a 6-3 conservative supermajority on the Supreme Court, a Biden administration will be hamstrung in its efforts to transform America after four years of Trumpism. Well, from the States, our US correspondent David Gardner is with me. David, it looks like the election's finally coming to an end, but it sounds like this is where the hard work's really going to begin for Joe Biden. Mr Biden is in the driving seat now. It wasn't a great election night for him. The great blue wave the Democrats had hoped for as a sort of grand gesture, repudiation of the Trump presidency didn't happen. That's going to leave a, an intriguing situation politically in Washington, even if Mr. Biden does indeed win. Because what does Donald Trump do with that 60 million votes? One would have expected him to have walked away from politics, gone back to whatever he does, making money. But he has a kind of mandate even outside the White House. There is a huge split across America, 60 million votes to 70 million votes. That's an awful lot of votes on both sides. Mr. Trump may seek to stay in the political arena uh, to to use that power, to use the weight he has still got to uh, influence, use that power within the, the political system. Uh, that is something which will be interesting to see if that's indeed the way it turns out. And that's the kind of influence that he could maybe use to lean on a Republican-controlled Senate. If he does lose, though, will those Republicans still listen to him? Undeniably, some Republicans, leading Republicans, would prefer that Donald Trump fades out into the night. That's not going to happen. So what do they do? They didn't win, but Donald Trump is still there, very much there, um, as a, a, a symbolic figure at the top of the Republican Party. Um, The establishment have to deal with that. So if Joe Biden does get into the White House, but he has this gridlock with the Senate, will he be able to get anything done? Is this going to change his entire strategy as president? Is he going to now start looking at who he might originally have wanted to have around him in his cabinet and maybe think, you're not going to work anymore? For Mr. Biden, it's a chance to finally get the top job and change America, I guess, and to bring back some of the policies perhaps that he and Barack Obama brought into place and that, and that Donald Trump has discarded. There is a, a real belief in the US that the more left, left-leaning left wing of the Democrat Party will seek to use his success to try and drive their agenda. Formerly, Mr. Biden was very much a sort of central centrist in the Democrats, perhaps even centrist to the right of the Democrat Party. Um, But he has tried to embrace the left, and people like Bernie Sanders have influence, certainly within the party, and it will be interesting to see how that develops. 
So clearly there will be problems for Joe Biden if he gets into the White House, but that's not happened yet. So putting that hypothetical future to one side for a moment, David, Donald Trump is not giving up on this election. He clearly still wants to be president. And to make that happen, he's starting to send out lawsuits. So maybe the election has turned out the way Donald Trump expected. He's been banging on for months about how uh, the Democrats were trying to steal the election, how mail-in votes were vulnerable to fraud, uh, how uh, it was all so unfair. Uh, now, when he still hasn't actually lost, he's going straight to his plan B, or maybe it was plan A all along. He's looking to the courts to sort out the result uh, rather than leaving it to the American people. Uh, Donald Trump is doing what Donald Trump does. There's no gracious handover of power here or no gracious waiting uh, for the results to come in. Uh, he's fighting, biting, scrapping all the way. Quite how, what he intends to achieve, it's difficult to know. Uh, the, the main thrust of his complaints uh, seem to be that uh, the count is going on too long. Some votes have been thrown away, cast, lost, whatever. I can't frankly see him having any joy. There's been no reports anywhere of any fraud or any reasonable scale at all involving either party. Even though the Supreme Court is weighed in his favour, uh, thanks to his choices uh, of, of justices, that's not the way it's going to go. Well, what way is it going to go, David? We've been watching these results coming in for three days now. There's still no official announcement on who's going to be president in January. As we head into Thursday evening, how are things actually looking? For now, we're looking at some of the key states, Pennsylvania, Georgia. Uh, these are the kind of places where the final drama is going to be played out. Uh, it's looking increasingly like uh, Pennsylvania having looked like it was going to go to Mr. Trump. Uh, it's really on a knife edge there. In other states, Arizona, for instance, it's been close and Mr. Trump has been closing on uh, Mr. Biden's lead. But certainly one would expect him to hold on. Maybe even by this time tomorrow, uh, we will see a result. And I fully expect that to be Joe Biden as president.